Hey YouTube, um, great day for a, another review, another video. Um, this was a, actually a fragrance that I did a review on several months ago. All I had at the time was a sample, and I think I even talked a little bit about uh, potentially either in that review video or in the unboxing, trying to make this a, a signature fragrance. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit um, as part of this review. But the reason I pulled that particular um, review off, off the web was um, I, I felt like I, I, in testing it more after getting a full bottle, I, I definitely got the longevity wrong. It's really, it's hard to get a, a full feel for a fragrance when all you're dealing with is a sample and maybe one or two wearings. Um, so I've had this for a while now. I've worn it multiple times and uh, that fragrance is uh, Udin Zerjoff. It's a Zerjoff fragrance, the Shooting Stars collection and uh, really nice stuff. Gorgeous stuff. Uh, we'll look at the bottle really quickly. As you can see, that that is an exquisite bottle. Very heavy, very thick glass, very heavy metal cap. Um, they really didn't spare, spare any expenses on this bottle by any means. Uh, it's gorgeous. And then the box. I mean, even the box is very nice. So here's your box right here. And it came in this very nice fabric plush pouch inside the box. So, um, as you can see, they, they spared no expense on the packaging. It's absolutely exquisite. So, uh, gorgeous presentation. Um, as far as the fragrance is concerned, this came out in 2009. And, um, according to Fragrantica, it's, it's a woody, citrusy, coffee, warm, spicy, rummy type of fragrance. So, we'll go through the notes here really quickly. Top notes, grapefruit, citruses, and lemon. Uh, mid notes, guyac wood, rum, rose, and sandalwood. Base notes, coffee, vanilla, musk, ambergris. Uh, I'll tell you what I get from this. Just generally, uh, this is just a, a, a sweet, spicy fragrance to me. Um, it starts off very citrusy, and then it just turns very nice and sweet and spicy. And I really like sweet and spicy fragrances. Uh, I have a number of them, and I'll probably do a video just showing you a, a, a number of great sweet, spicy fragrances that I have and that I like to wear. Uh, this is a great sweet spicy fragrance, and it does uh, change quite a bit. You know, right out the gate, you know, uh, at the very top, you're going to get that that citrus. Um, it's very very prominent uh, in the opening, uh, but when it fades away, you get sweet spiciness to it. Now, this has a really a really strange accord in it, actually that that I like. It's uh, it's almost a very it, it, humid. Accord. I, I don't know if that makes sense. It's the weirdest thing. If you've ever tried this, there's there's almost this feeling or or scent of of moist air, humidity. I, I don't think I've ever smelled that uh, uh, before trying this fragrance. Um, and interestingly enough, that same kind of humid, wet, airy type of smell and feel. Uh, is in a, a fragrance that my, my wife has, a, a, a Bulgari fragrance for women. Um, so it, it, it gives it a little bit more character. It's unique. This is, you know, the only man's fragrance I've ever smelled that in. I don't know how they create it uh, or what's causing it, but uh, really interesting. I, I think worth getting a sample and trying it yourself to see what you think. Uh, overall, it's a, it's a really nice fragrance. I really enjoy it. Has it become my signature scent? It has not become my signature scent. Um, I think one of the, the things that makes it difficult to be a signature scent is the price. Uh, this, this bottle right here, and this is the 100 ml bottle, uh, this was $320 uh, roughly. I bought this directly from Zerjoff. I think you can get better deals than that. I think um, one, of, uh, one of the people who commented on, on the, the earlier, actually my unboxing of this potentially is where that comment may have appeared, said that Min New York, uh, I guess, had a pretty good deal and discount. So, I mean, you can probably pick it up for cheaper, but even with a great deal, I'm sure you're still going to be in the $200 range for a 100 ml bottle. Um, so, for a signature scent, that's a little pricey. There are a lot of really good scents out there that are very versatile and smell really good and just are generally pleasing that you can get for quite a bit less than that. So, um, yeah, not, not good for signature scent as far as price is concerned. And, and also, uh, as far as longevity is concerned... Uh, I think you should expect to get about four to six hours out of this. Now, because uh, you can only expect to get about four to six, you know, halfway decent hours out of the scent, that, that sure decreases its versatility. That makes it a little bit harder to, to, uh, to be, you know, something that you're going to wear to work 
although it's, like I said, it, it comes across just very pleasing. I think this would be a generally pleasing scent that most people would not be offended by. So in that respect, I think it would work pretty well at work and as a signature scent overall. Um, as well as its versatility, I think this is something that that uh, can be pulled off, uh, you know, definitely spring, definitely fall, uh, might be, uh, as far as, you know, because of the, the longevity problems, it might be a little harder to pull it off in the winter. Um, and, uh, and in the summer, I wore this the other day, and it's, it's still pretty warm here in Salt Lake, uh, here in Utah, uh, actually the, the outskirts of Salt Lake, and, um, you know, it did okay. You know, I, I didn't, it wasn't cloying, it wasn't overpowering, nothing like that. Um, I did find, though, that about, you know, four to five hours in the fragrance, I wanted to do a maintenance spray. You know, I worn it to work the other day. Now, I got the little uh, plastic decants that Hero uh, mentioned on one of his videos several months ago, you know, when he talked about, hey, longevity's not an issue, just get these decants. And, you know, they work really well. I've got a number of my fragrances in decants that uh, I'll, I'll take with me to work sometimes to, to do a refresher spray. The thing is, is it's, um, it, it does affect the fragrance a bit and and this is one of the fragrances that you know I, I have a really hard time with coming out of, out of one of those decants um, what it tends to do I think generally to some of the fragrances is uh, is I, I, I would almost say flatten them again uh, uh, flatten them a bit um, that the scent comes across comes out just a little bit uh, uh, less less vibrant less robust and just a, a little flatter uh, more dull uh, if that makes sense. And I have a hard time with that with this, and I have a hard time with that with uh, uh, Yves Saint Laurent's uh, Lum, for whatever reason, coming out of the decant. Um, just the fact that they're they're a little bit more dull, a little bit less vibrant, a little bit less lively. It just doesn't work for these two. Um, so then that brings us right back to the longevity issue. Roughly four to six decent hours. It's not enough for me to consider it a really good signature scent, and that's not enough for me to really uh, consider it a really good work scent because you know, most of us are going to work for you know eight hours or more, and it's probably not going to get you through an entire day where by the end of the day you're still smelling it well on yourself, right? You might catch the occasional little waft coming up from your clothes, but you're probably going to be smelling it very well. Um, but overall, like I said. It's a, it's a really nice fragrance. It's sweet, it's spicy, I really enjoy that. It starts off very citrusy. I like the character from that, that humid, moist air accord that's in it. Um, very unique. And uh, uh, overall, it's a good fragrance. It really is. Enjoy it. I don't, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not trying to steer anybody away from buying this by any means. This, this is a nice fragrance. Um, scale of one to 10, I'm gonna go ahead and give this uh, an eight. It's a really nice fragrance. And uh, definitely something worth checking out. So, you know, go to Lucky Scent uh, uh, or, or wherever you can get your hands on, on a sample and, and give this a couple of wearings. Uh, let, let me know what you think in the comments below. But uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, have a great day.